So funny thing. Um, I think a lot of the people who watch my videos are way better at homesteading than me and know how to make all of these amazing meals and things like, you know, raw milk yogurt and bone broth and all of that. I am just such a newbie to all of that. So I'm sure there are others like me who maybe they've been doing the chicken thing for the while and the gardening, gardening thing for a while, but they haven't, you know, jumped into that making things yourself stage, which is where I'm at now. So I'm making bone broth today and I really enjoy making it myself now because I used to spend so much money on bone broth. You know, it was like $1.99 just for one carton of bone broth. So I had saved my chicken bones from a chicken I made and I put it in the freezer. So I'm gonna make some bone broth today and I thought I would show you how I do it. So maybe if you don't make bone broth or you haven't done it or you're intimidated by it, you can see that it's super easy. I have put my frozen bones in here. I'm going to add in water and then a bunch of veggies and then a little bit of apple cider vinegar and my seasonings. So far I've just added the water to the chicken bones, some carrots, I wish I had whole carrots but I just have bagged, shredded carrots, um, some ends, like the top fourth of some celery. I'm going to add in some minced garlic, a lot because yeah. Um, there's really, for me anyway, there's no recipe on how much of each one to add. I just add in scraps. I'm actually going to add in an onion that I have that's sprouting and I'm going to probably cut off the sprouting part. I don't know. I put it in there. And I'm going to keep the skins on because onion skins are really good for you. Lucia was telling me a while back you can make like onion skin tea and stuff. So I'm going to throw that all in there. And um, then I'm going to throw my seasonings in, which I'll show you what that is in just a minute. So I've added my onion. I'm going to add in a little bit of apple cider vinegar. And the reason why you add that is because it actually helps to leach the minerals and the collagen out of the bones and connect connective tissues. So anyways, all right. So now that I've done that, I'm going to add salt, pepper, turmeric, garlic powder, onion powder, and a little bit of cayenne. Forgot that I do bay leaves also. So basically for this, you're just going to do your bones, cover the bones in water, and I would do carrots, celery, onions, garlic, minced garlic, and then you really could add any veggies that you wanted in there, but bay leaves, salt, pepper, turmeric, um, what else did I do in there? <laughs> Onion powder, garlic powder, cayenne pepper, and the apple cider vinegar. So, short video, uh, super easy, just how I make my bone broth. I'll show you guys when it's done. And then on my Instapot, I'm just going to push the soup broth and I'm, I had changed it, but I'm going to put it up for an hour and it will cook it super fast. It smells so good. If you haven't made your own bone broth, like it just, it smells so good and it's so good to use in soups and making beans and so many different things. It is well worth it. So. Um, if you haven't made it before, just buy like a little frying chicken or something from the store or butcher your own, even better, which is what we want to do. And then I cook mine in the Instapot and then I use up the meat or take the meat and then I just save the bones and then when I'm ready to make bone broth, I do this. So yeah, it's a win-win. Here we go guys. Look at this beautiful, beautiful bone broth. So now you're just going to strain it to get, you know, catch all the stuff. And um, you can even, if you want, you can even try and get the rest of the meat off the bones or reuse the celery and the carrots, whatever. So yeah, enjoy you guys.